I just need to get my life together before we start this because, you know, life. Always got my coffee slut, yes, and my run guam. Gotta, gotta rep, right? Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's MMA for everyone who doesn't know me. Welcome to the fam. Today, it is a Tuesday morning for me. I just got out of class and I just got finished working out. It's been a pretty decent day. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, it's been pretty awful. So I started off waking up and going to my lift, which ended up not really being too much because still in my boot, this beautiful thing that I hate so much. So this morning when everybody was doing some like cardio and like leg things, I was literally just standing there pretty sucky. Then I ended up having to leave early from Lyft because I had class and I had to get breakfast. And then my professor in my computer class told me that we have an exam like in two days. Oh, if you guys know anything about computers at all, please, please, please let me know because I need as much help as I can get. So let me tell you the worst part of my day so far. So I was in my computer science class and after my professor told our class that we had an exam, we started to go over the exam. But I got a phone call from my doctor, the doctor that I'm supposed to see later today. It's a holiday. He scheduled me for a holiday. So they had to reschedule me for tomorrow. Fingers crossed that it works out. I was really excited to get out of it today, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, mentally, it's really hard being a student athlete or just an athlete in general. Somebody that likes to always be moving and being confined to walking all the time. It's, it's hard emotionally. And honestly, that's why I kind of made this video today because I wanted to talk to you guys about what it's like to have an injury, even if it's something really small or if it's something major, um, how to kind of deal with that and some of the things I've experienced um, through my first injury. First, let me explain to you guys what happened and why I'm in a boot. So pretty much, I trained all track season, indoor and outdoor track, and then right from that, I took maybe a week and a half off, and then I started training again for track for my national team on Guam. For the rest of the summer, that's what I was doing. I was really working hard. During the summer, I was at a few competitions, and I was having some pains in my leg, but not excruciating. It was just like little like hints every once in a while, and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm gonna take a little bit of time off after I'm done with this season. So what I ended up doing is running through it, and I took about six or seven days off uh, before I decided to start training for my cross-country season for college. So on my first run back from my seven-day break or rest or whatever, um, I was going out for a five-mile run and I hit the three-mile mark and for some reason my leg was in excruciating pain. I, I'm not the type of person to cry but there were tears coming down my face and I was just... I honestly had no idea what happened. I didn't roll my ankle. I didn't do anything different. I was just literally running and all of a sudden it just hurt so bad. And my parents walked by and they were like, what is wrong? And I was telling them what was happening and they were like, maybe you should just like not do anything for the rest of the day. So I ended up taking about three days off. After my three day rest, I actually ended up going to the doctor for blood work and I mentioned my leg and he said that he thought that I might have pulled something, just something very small and just take a few days off and I should be back on my feet again. About four rest days in, I decided to start running again and it again was hurting so bad. What I ended up doing was taking a day on and day off throughout the rest of my summer until I got to college. It was probably a terrible idea. Uh, as soon as I got here, I was talking to my trainer and she told me that I need to go see a doctor because someone's obviously wrong with me and my doctor was wrong. So. <laughs> I ended up going to a doctor here in the United States in New York and he told me I have a stress fracture. Oh yeah. I was put into the boot for three weeks and then I returned back to the doctor and then he told me I have to be in it for at least another three weeks. So tomorrow I'll go back to the doctor and fingers crossed that I'm out of the boot. So that's the story on actually what is wrong with my leg and how it happened and all my drama. Now I want to talk to you guys about the emotional and physical deficits that any type of injury has on your body. I hope you guys can take something away from all of this. First, I want to talk about the physical, just because it's a lot simpler to talk about. Obviously, you're not going to be able to do certain things because it's on my leg and it's in an odd part of my leg. I can't do anything working out standing up. So I can 
do arm presses, but I have to be sitting. I can throw a med ball, but I have to be sitting when I do that. So everything I was doing, I had to be sitting, which was really difficult because especially as a runner, you use your legs so much. Um, so mentally that was really hard because I always want to like do something with my legs. I feel like my legs aren't getting enough workout, but I have gotten stronger in my arms because that's all I've been able to do. <laughs> so physically it's bad. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. If you're doing a sport that you use a lot of upper body, it, this would work out better for you, but for me, it, it just sucks. <laughs> My legs are weak. Uh, one of my calves is smaller than the other. It's just, it's a mess and it's really not fun. <laughs> and that actually takes you to the mental and emotional problems that come with having an injury. So mentally and emotionally, injuries, <laughs> it's terrible. It's just terrible, guys. So mentally and emotionally, injuries can be really difficult. I'm gonna tell you guys how I've been feeling and things I've been dealing with, um, but I know that those things can relate to a lot of different people when they have injuries as well. So first off, not being able to do what you love, it's hard. It's so extremely hard. I've been in my boot for six weeks at least and I have not been able to go running. I feel like I've lost a part of myself. A lot of times when I'm stressed or anxious about things, I go for a run, it cools me down, it calms me, makes me feel better and a little bit more organized with life. Not being able to do that, it's <laughs> there's not even a word to describe it. It's so hard. It makes you realize like there's not a whole lot of things that will calm you down in a stressful situation. Aside from running, I learned that reading is actually a really good way for me to calm myself if I'm stressed in a situation. But it's not the same as it would be if I went running. So that's been something that's been a little challenging for me trying to deal with my stress and deal with my frustrations. I think that's probably the hardest thing that I've had to deal with in regards to having this injury. That's such a big part of your life. Like you don't realize how much you stress until the thing that helps you get rid of your stress is taken away from you and then you're just like what do I do with myself <laughs> another thing that I find difficult is if you guys are a part of a team for example I'm a part of my cross-country team and I have not been able to practice with them all season I've been able to do lift workouts with them them having that bond and having those experiences those special workouts together has really affected their relationship and they've gotten a lot closer compared to me because I'm outside I'm watching I'm looking into their workouts I'm looking into all of their techniques that they've been learning and practicing so I feel like that's also something that's a little challenging that a lot of people don't realize um, is going to happen until you're actually put in that situation being able to watch your team do really well during the season is also hard especially because I came from a really good track season during the summer and then going straight into not being able to do anything and I was really feeling motivated to do well during cross so seeing everybody else do really well and push each other and you know do PBs that's really it's challenging for me to watch but I'm also really proud of them even though I'm still on the team but I'm not working out with them I'm still pushing them and trying to support them as much as I could so a lot of people don't realize if you are injured you become a NARP a NARP is a normal average regular person which means you don't do a sport which means you have a lot of time on your hands which means one of two things one you're gonna get really fat because all you do is eat and two you're gonna get yourself into a lot of trouble because you have nothing to do with your life it was a little bit of both <laughs> so personally for me it was a little bit of both mostly the eating part i've oh emma you don't run anymore you can't just eat whatever you want so that's another thing you just need to look out for you want to make sure you don't get yourself into trouble because you are still an athlete even though you're not competing you know you still have people watching over you making sure that you're getting the grades that you need to get making sure you're taking care of your body the way that you you know really should be so that's something you really need to pay attention to because once you become an art there's a few things that can really happen and you don't want to lose focus of you being an athlete because soon you won't be injured and you'll be back on your way. This was my first injury that I've ever gotten um, that has prevented me from running, so I thought it was really important for me to talk to you guys and share my experience with you and hopefully my journey along the way getting back into shape and getting back into um, <laughs> my running mode. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff and have a great morning.